Everybody was saying, oh, it's going to, you know, I don't think he's going to beat Mayweather or uh, Pacquiao with the 4.6 or whatever it was. Blew out of the water. What was the final number? So, I mean, so far the final number is like 6.2? I had heard 6.5. No um, shit. Is what I yeah. recently just heard. Now, I don't know if that's true. It's just like some fucking, like, Instagram video that Uriah Faber had posted with Dana White saying it. But I don't see why Dana White would be lying to Snoop and Faber. So, I'm going to – listen – it doesn't surprise me a bit. What the fuck? I mean, this fight had the world talking. I kind of knew. I, I thought that it would definitely. I didn't think it'd do six million. If I'm being fucking honest, I thought that it would beat Mayweather Pacquiao. I thought it would break five, but kind of just above five million, six and a half million, or even six point two hypothetically, is a little surprising. But I mean. This fight was fucking huge, man. It was one of those deals where you had everybody from fucking, you know, Joe Blow ass fuck sports fan to fucking WWE fans to fight fans to combat sports fans to curiosity seekers. I mean, this fucking fight had it all, man. So any kind of huge numbers don't really blow me out of the water. I also heard um, that like something like fucking 100 million people streamed it illegally or some yep. shit. Like, Basically some kind of saying. fucking stupid number of illegal streams were supposedly uh, uh, put up on it. So, you know, nah, man. I, 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 for one, expected it to do gangbuster numbers. I'm not really too surprised at all. Yeah, you know, the thing is, I, I didn't I expect them to do great, like, big-time numbers. But, man, it's fucking 6.5? 6.5! That's the power of who fucking knows, of, you know. What if? That's the power of what if. That's that's what drives us all into this shit. Is what if you know he lands? We'll talk about the performance here in a second. But Jesse, six point five million. Did you even think it was going to come that close? Um, no. I mean, I think uh, in our our assessment of the pay per view guys last week, um, I went back and looked, and um, for about the five five and a half million, um. But one of our one of our listeners, uh, Prince, and another guy. I think I think the other person actually was closest. I think they said like six point three or something. But Prince said over six million. So both of those guys obviously had some uh, <laughs> true Conor McGregor fandom going because anybody out there was really thinking six. Man, I think the most we were thinking was five, five and a half. But this is just incredible. Plus, I mean, think about it. With over a hundred million people, like you know, illegally downloading it or whatever, I mean, imagine what the what the buys would have been. Stop stuff like that. And you got to also think about that's not including the people that were on like Periscope or Twitter or whatever streaming it. You know, that's a lot of numbers still. I mean, that's like some really really nice numbers finally with pay per views for this for this stuff. No, so now, now, so hold on. Let me ask y'all something. Expanding on that now. So now that we know what the number is, all the hoopla is over. Everything's said and done. Um, I hate to say this because I mean, you know, putting something into the idea of like forever and ever. Cl clearly, something will be better than this eventually. But whatever tops this, like, what could possibly top this? It's not a boxing match. It's not. I mean. What could you – could anything ever break 6.5 million pay-per-view? I mean, what, what would you have to do? Like have Justin Bieber fight a shark? What on earth could you do to get more than 6.5 million pay-per-view buys? I mean, could anything ever break this record? See, and I was talking about this right after the fight ended. Because we were talking about, look, the UFC, you know, TV had problems with the stream service, right? The, the company they, they used or they partnered with yeah, for that yeah, yeah, totally yeah. fucked up. They weren't ready for it. Other pay per view spots, like uh, it's like uh, I think Comcast fucked up. A bunch of places fucked up, right? They couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't handle that the workload basically. So I was wondering, I was like, man, they have to have the numbers on this shit is gonna be big as fuck. I think six point five million, but they were big as fuck. Now, I, I remember I was talking to somebody after after the fight. I was like, do you think Mayweather fighting MMA against Conor does that kind of number? That there's those numbers. We both agreed that it probably wouldn't. No, you know I mean? no, but. I can't nope. think of anything, man. I mean, unless Muhammad Ali you comes back from the dead, and you, know, you don't 20s. got the you don't got the forty nine and zero in, in MMA. Yeah. So I mean, and and, and MMA is not as prestigious as boxing. Whether no no matter how bad 
us MMA fans might not like to admit it. it it's just the truth. So no, nowhere near. Um, quite frankly, sad as it is, I think if they fought in an MMA cage, it would only do about half, maybe less than it's half that. of those yeah. buys. Yeah, mil and a half, two mil, maybe. You know, they loses a lot of the luster. So, I, yeah, I don't know if anything could ever match that man, which is which is you know, pretty impressive shit in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. It, it's, I know, it, it, is, it is damn impressive, but at the same time, it's, um, it makes me, oh, shit, we got a lot of comments. Hold up. Ah, okay, I got to read the comments because they're actually pretty decent. UC says some bitch ass already disliked it already. What the fuck? <laughs> you cocksuckers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's one salty bastard. I'm no, you know what I mean? Like, all right, well, hey, man, hey, th- again, thanks for the view, you fucking cocksucker. Do your thing. Uh, Raider, Raider says, fuck, I was way off on that number. Um. Yeah, this is fucking hilarious. There's a lot of people talking about that shit, like a lot of name calling going down for this poor sap. Uh, I pity that bastard. I'll tell you what. Um, I pity the fool. Yeah, right. Raider says the problem with boxing is if it's a super boring fight, you got to wait through twelve freaking rounds. They should cut boxing to eight rounds. The prelims were long. You agree with that, Fred? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, kind of, man. The, the problem with boxing is, in my opinion, it's too fragmented. There's a lot of fun boxers out there, but, like, you know, the, this Triple G Canelo fight coming up is a prime example of that. If that if those two fights were operating in the MMA stratosphere, you know DW makes that one mega event, right? Yeah. Like, we know how this works as MMA fans. We get those events. You don't get those in boxing, period, Jack. I mean, there are some exciting... Don't get me wrong. He's right. When a boxing fight does suck, those extra four rounds are fucking tedious. But it's not... You know, not all boxing matches are shit like that, man. There's a lot that are. It's just that the the good guys they got are all in these different fucking promotions or under different banners and shit. They all got 32 different belts. It's a fucking clusterfuck of epic proportions. It makes you happy to be an MMA fan. To where we got two teams basically, Bellator and UFC, and UFC is really kicking the shit out of Bellator. So, you know, it, 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 boxing is fucking not like that. Yeah.